this day. It was a lonely day. I did have longings all its hours for angel mother and angel father. In between times, all day at school, I did print messages for them on grey leaves I did gather on the way to school. I did tell on the leaves of the longings I was having. And after, I did tell of how many days in grey light time I have had on searches for kisses from Angel Father. And when these leaves were so done, I did have thinks. And the thinks I did have, they were about the glad song. The glad song in my heart sings not so bright today. It is lonesome feels I have. But I do try to have thinks as how I can bring happiness to folks about. That is such a help when lonesome feels do come. Angel Mother did say, make earth glad, little one. That is the way to keep the fire tongue of the glad song ever in your heart. I so do try to keep it there. I so do try, for it helps on cold days and old days. And I did have remembers as how it was Angel Mother did say, when one keeps the glad song singing in one's heart, then do the hearts of others sing. So I did make hard swallows to swallow the lonesome fields. And it was time for school to be let out. I went down the road. I went down to the singing creek where the willows grow. I did go into the near woods. I so went to tie the messages I did print on grey leaves to the trees. And I tied one on one tree, and I tied one on another. I tied them there that they may go in thoughts to Angel Mother and to Angel Father up in heaven there. And I did have thinks that when the angels come to walk in the near woods, they would see and carry them on. And I did say a little prayer every time I did tie on a leaf message. I did look looks about. This woods is grey in winter when come cold days. And grey shadows walk among the trees. They touch one's face with velvet fingers when one goes walking there in the woods. In the winter, old grey leaves grow to look like lace. They are very beautiful. As I did go along, I saw many grey rocks. Some grey rocks had grey and green patches on them. Some of these patches had ruffles all around their edges. The grey patches on grey rocks are lichen. My angel father said so. Lichen folk talk in grey tones. I think they do talk more when winter days come. I hear their voices more in December than I do hear their voices in July or June time. Angel Father did show me the way to listen to lichen voices. Most grown-ups don't hear them at all. I see them walk right by in a hurry sometimes. And all the time the lichen folks are saying things. And the things they say are thoughts they have about the gladness of a winter day. I put my ear close to the rocks and I listen. That is how I do hear what they are saying. Then I do take a reed for a flute. I climb on a stump, on the most high stump which is near. I pipe on the flute to the wind what the lichen are saying. I am piper for the lichen that grow on the grey rocks and the lichen that cling to trees grown old. While I did mind the baby, there was an odd sound, like someone crying a great way off. The mama says, I wonder what it is. I know it is the death song of that gray fir tree they are falling this afternoon. Sleep has come upon the baby. The mama says for me to get out of her way. I go now to the woods. I did. I went on to where the growing was. It reaches up and up 
most away to the clouds. Days have been when I did sit by it and have thinks, <coughs> and Thomas Chatterton has gone goes there with me, and brave Horatius has waited waits while I did say my prayers by the great tree. And I have told it all the things I'm going to do when I grow up. I've told it about the books I'm going to write, about wood folks and them of the field, and about the twins I want when I grow up, and the eight other children. And always I have read to this great fir tree the letters I have wrote and put in the big log for the fairies to take to Grand Mare and Grand Père. And night times I have heard the little wind song among the arms most high to the sky. And I have almost touched the big grey shadow with velvet fingers that stays close by it at night. And today, there, I did watch, and I did hear its moans as the saw went through it. And I sat down on the ground. There was a queer feel in my throat, and I couldn't stand up. All the woods seemed to still sound, except the pain sound of the saw. It seemed like a little voice was calling from the cliffs, and it was many voices. They were all little voices calling as one silver voice come together. The saw, it didn't stop. It went on sawing. Then I did have thinks the silver voice was calling to the soul of the big fir tree. The saw did stop. There was a silence. There was a queer, sad sound. The big tree did quiver. It did sway. It crashed to the earth. Thank you.